guys, how's it going? Probably freaking you out, huh? This is like at least a week and I've done, I've been back to kind of like a normal schedule in my vlogging and my blogging. In a way, I'm getting there. Um, and yes, I'm just letting you know I'm enjoying a delicious Diet Coke. Ah, I just freaking love it. Look, it is as big as my head. Even bigger. Get over it. I especially, let's, let's see, when did that happen? Um, I'm trying to remember what day our friend, I guess I'm stretching that out a little bit. Our friend of Flo arrived later this week. So I was going to, I was about to say, look people, when it's that time of the month, I get to have whatever I want, but it's actually a few days past that, so. I just feel like I want one because I just went and I had this massive um, craving for a burger. So I went to Ferdilio's. This is the leftover bag here. And I ordered a double, a double burger with everything on it. Took off the bun and ate it paleo style, which was delicioso. And I'm just gonna show you. There is nothing left on this plate. I may or may not have licked the plate. I don't quite remember. I don't quite remember what my plate looked like when there was a burger on it. I was so hungry, and that's what I wanted, and I had it, and I also... <laughs> I ordered a large combo. Okay, seriously? First of all, I wanna know who is it that can order like a burger and fries <clears throat> and not eat fries on the way home out of the bag? I know I can't. When we were little, my mom used to take us, very rarely were we allowed to go for fast food, but if we did, we would go for McDonald's, and we were never allowed to eat it in the car on the way home. My mom was like, wait till we get home. And we were always like, oh. I'm just telling you, do you see this compared to my head? This is how many fries are still left. And I ate fries in the car on the way home. This is like really giving new meaning to the word large. Um, I'm full and it was great and it was awesome. I don't feel guilty. I'm enjoying what I want when I want it. And there's a couple of things. Uh, before I went to get my burger, I stopped at Walmart to get my, um, I got peppers, asparagus, red onion, lettuce, cabbage, apples, bananas. What's power greens? Power greens, that's spinach. Uh, marinara sauce and hummus and I got all that stuff which should last me for more than a week for $41. I don't know if you could see that. So I was pretty pleased. Um, but I was watching, uh, what was I watching? Oh, that Gina Aliotti, ugh, Gina Aliotti, am I saying that right? Gina Aliotti, uh, her video because I wanted to get that recipe for the um, zucchini protein powder. Wait, zucchini protein cake. Zucchini protein bread. Good God, I feel like I'm sleepwalking right now. Um, and so I also didn't recall, but she also has a recipe on that video where she makes um, spring rolls. Now I don't wanna make the spring rolls, but as I was watching that video, it looked so good. She took a, a whole package of, of pre-shredded cabbage. So they didn't have that at Walmart, or at least I was too lazy to look for it. <clears throat> so I bought, you know, regular cabbage. But she put a whole package of that in in the pan on the stove, sauteed it with just Pam or, you know, you could use your olive oil spray or whatever. Um, she put her own spices in it, whatever spices you like. Um, and then she added, what did she add? Oh, she had pre-cooked chicken. So she put her, um, she cut up chicken and kind of sliced it or shredded it and put that in there. And then she was, it was essentially cabbage I don't know if she put onion in there or not, but I think that if you did like a purple onion, like a sweet onion, I think that would add some good flavor. So that and chicken, and I don't know what about it was that, it just looked so good. Um, so I got cabbage, um, and then I also thought that would be good with turkey, ground turkey, so I'm gonna make some of that. I'm gonna be all cabbage-y this week. I also bought asparagus, which I haven't been making enough of, but I've been seeing everybody make it on Instagram, and so I'm like, not to mention they also, I couldn't find the Brussels sprouts. And I was about ready to kill somebody if I didn't get to Fridilio's for my burger. So, you know, at Walmart, I'm like, 
give me the greens that I need so I can go get my burger. <laughs> so it was funny because if the woman at the checkout line was looking at my everything I bought, she was probably like, wow, this girl's so healthy. <laughs> Little did she know that I was hauling ass over to Fridilio's to get, again, a burger the size of Texas. But it's all about, as we say at Fitfluential, eat, sleep, move, and enjoy. It's not about a lifestyle of deprivation. And I just have to say, I wrote my blog post today um, kind of about just how good I feel with where I am. Um, I, I, it's, it's taken me a while to, to get to this good place in my mind where I'm not like spending every day doing what I used to do, doing what I've, I've been doing for the, for the past two years, which is beating myself up, you know, nitpicking myself apart in the mirror, you know, getting up every time I would put my workout clothes on and standing in front of the mirror and going, oh, look where, see where you look fat there? See where that is? See where you haven't gotten, you know, you haven't lost the weight there? And now what I do is I just put my workout clothes on and I go do my workout. And I'm kind of getting over the fact, like, I, I didn't want to do crunches because I was so pissed off about gaining weight on my tummy. That's the first place I gained weight. I've never, I've always had a flat stomach my whole life. And then when this whole perimenopause thing happened to me, I, I it was like I had an immediate gut. It was literally like someone took Play-Doh and went right on my stomach and was like, there you go. And it was really annoying. So um, I avoided doing, I told Valerie Waters this and she was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> so, I just, it's funny because there's just been a couple times over the past two or three weeks that I've been walking down my hallway and I'd walk by my, my guest bathroom and there's, you know, the mirror there and I would just kind of do one of these like, oh my God. Like I noticed from the side that I could tell I'd really lost a lot of weight and, and I, I almost just thought, this is not my silhouette. This is not what I look like. But it was that moment of going, wait a second, I'm not getting dressed in front of the mirror Remember what I used to do. You guys, you guys know this. If you've been, sorry, my hat thing is sticking out here. Um, if you've been watching my my vlogs for a while, if you've been reading my my blog for a while, you know that you know, 2010, 2011. Every single time I would get up, either before I put my workout clothes on or after I put my workout clothes on, I would literally go into the mirror and I would look at myself from the front and the side and I would pick myself apart. And more often than not, I would get so depressed by what I saw that then, which this makes no sense up here, I'm just telling you guys, it makes no sense to think this way. I'd be like, oh, forget it. I'm pissed out, you know, I'm not, I'm not losing any weight. Forget it, I'm not gonna work out. That's what I did a hundred million times. Probably not that many, but you get my point. I like to exaggerate. Um, and then I would also, you know, I'd look at, I'd always look at my rear view and, and my rear view would upset me, not because of what upsets a lot of people, you know, butt or thighs. I get upset because of the fat, like below the bra line. Okay. I'd freak out and I, and then the arm like above the, above the bra line here, right there. And <clears throat> the amount of time that I spent over the past two years obsessing and looking and, and looking for, oh, see, oh, look at that. And focusing on the negative, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna sound a little Oprah here, okay, but it really is true. What you look for, you're gonna find. So if I, every time if I got up and I was looking in the mirror to see what I could find that still needed to be fixed or an area where, that still, I hadn't lost weight, of course I'm gonna see it. But for some reason, I don't even know when this change occurred, but it's happened recently, where I'm not doing that. I'm just focusing on what I can do. I go out for my run and instead of standing in front of the mirror and trying to find whatever it is that's going to fit me perfectly so that I can feel like I'm, I'm not, I don't have any, you know, back fat hanging over my Under Armour bra or whatever. I just go and I run. You guys think that sounds, I don't care if you think it sounds shallow or stupid or ridiculous, but I'm just sharing with you guys because number one, I've gotten past it. And number two, I know a lot of you do that to yourself. Um, and it's really counterproductive um, and it really messes you up in your head um, because you, you, anyway, you just, there's an old saying that says, you know, if you, if you're so worried about what other people think of you, you have very, a, a 
very little clue how little they really are thinking of you. So all the times that I was worried, like, I don't want to go to the gym, everyone's going to be staring at me, they're going to think I'm disgusting looking. Nobody's really giving a crap whether or not I go to the gym or not. And when I show up, do I really think that the entire gym is like, So, all I can tell you, and I've been rambling on for 10 minutes already, is I finally got into that place where I really honestly tr and truthfully, um, yeah, there's still, there's still a part of me deep inside that, that is looking at that kind of stuff, and I still see the areas where I still need to lose weight, but more often than not, like I wrote in my blog post today, I'm sitting at my desk and I can just, I can look down at my legs or I can feel my stomach, I can feel that I've gotten leaner, I can feel that I've gotten lighter. Um, when I went and I tried on my old Levi's, um, yeah, they're still like, just a little tighter than I want it to be. Um, I really, I don't know why, I don't like jeans tight, tight. So they're still just like that, but I could easily go out and wear my jeans now and feel great about it, which is awesome. Um, I have to tell you, I'm just gonna say this, I'm really embarrassed myself. Yeah, I had my jeans on and I looked at the rearview mirror and I was like, damn, in a good way. I'm not lying, I'm not lying. Okay, so I'm just saying, yes, I checked my own ass out. Um, see, I'm still looking the plate. Um, and then I told you, I've, I've, I haven't been measuring myself. Then I took out my measurements from, I had, I had created a spreadsheet and I think the, this was like, right when like perimenopause hit and I started to get freaky about my weight gain and um, I wanted to start tracking. And probably the past year, I've, I've looked at myself and thought, oh, I haven't even made a dent. I must be exactly where I left off. And guess what? I'm at least two inches smaller than when all of this started. And here in my head, I thought I was at exactly the same place. So that goes to show you you, you don't want to be too obsessive about measuring and weighing yourself and, and picking yourself apart. But on the other hand, yeah, do something that's tracking what you're doing because sometimes it feels really great when um, maybe you do it every two weeks. Maybe you measure once a month, whatever. And then you see you've lost you know, another half an inch, another half an inch, and you're, you're heading in the right direction. That can do wonders for motivation. Putting on your old jeans can do wonders for motivation. Um, Focusing on what you can do in your workouts as opposed to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> um, as opposed to worrying about, you know, am I back in the exact right size workout clothes that I want to be? No. Focus on what you've accomplished in your workouts. Like today, I had a badass workout, you guys. I went, and it's Sunday. I normally take Sundays off. Um, I went and I ran two miles out that way, then I, I pressed on, I did that Saucony um, Run For Good app, pressed it pause, which annoyed me because then it shut off and didn't record that two, two miles. Um, then I was at the soccer field and I did a bunch of uh, Jenny Lynn drills where you go, you crouch down into like a squat and then you go side foot to side foot to side foot. I don't even know what that's called. Somebody tell me what that's called when you're kind of hopping in a, in a crouch lunge down the, down the field and then you sprint back and then you do that and then you sprint back and then I did a hundred walking lunges and then I did planks and then I did uh, some more sprints and then I walk slash ran slash sprint slash walk slash run all the way back home well almost all the way back home I probably did that for another mile then I did a hundred more walking lunges and then I did speed walking the rest of the way home so I kicked serious ass um, and it felt great. That's probably why I was so freaking hungry. Um, but also, when I went to get my burger today, don't get me wrong, I'm not also in that weird mindset. Well, some of you might not think it's weird. I'm not in that weird mindset of like, oh, I probably burned enough calories, now I can go have a cheeseburger or, or whatever. Sometimes I think that can get unhealthy because then people get into that, you know, extreme overtraining, you know, to try to balance their calories. I just, I could tell that I was in that moment where I needed beef. I told you guys, I get those beef things, the beef cravings, where I just need it. So, I wanted to tell you about, oh, last thing. So, kind of back to, you know how they say, if you're single and you're trying to meet somebody and the people that are married or, or that are dating somebody always go, it's really when you stop looking that you're going to meet someone. And you're always like, 
the hell does that mean? Um, and I remember Amy Burford had said this to me probably a year and a half ago. She's like, you know, and I was getting jealous of her because it seemed like she had started running and she had was just dropping weight and whatever. She's like, that's because I'm just enjoying the run. I'm just running and I'm not going out going, how many calories am I burning? You know, what do I weigh now? Well, that's what I was doing for two years, everything. I tried everything, I stuck to nothing. And everything was about trying to lose weight as fast as possible. And then if that didn't work, switch to something else. And I wasn't even enjoying the ride. And you guys know, I freaking love working out. Today was such a rush doing that workout. And it's only now that I've gotten to this place of being comfortable and kind of going, okay, you know what? I'm not where I want to be, but I'm on the way. And if you don't like it, so be it. Um, I'm becoming more comfortable with myself. First time today, first time, just because I was feeling really good. I went into my restroom and I had my um, Under Armour sports bra on, which is, you know, tight because it keeps the girls in. And, um, I had my, my running clothes on and I'm like, I'm just gonna see. And I did the rear view. I literally could not believe it because every other time I have put that on or a really tight sports bra, I've always been like, look at the line underneath the, the, the bra or look at the fat over the bra. Every single time there was nothing today, nothing. Do you know how freaking great that felt? And now I'm rethinking the cheeseburger, of course. I'm just kidding. Um, so, I guess I just wanted to come in here and share that number one, I have come so far and it feels great. I feel so much better to be able to just kind of calm down, to not, to not be scared to tell you guys that I had a burger and that I'm not like freaking out about it. I don't feel like I need to purge the rest of the week or, or, or be extreme in my eating the rest of the week. That should be, I should be able to have a burger every week, period, or a piece of pizza or whatever I wanna have or whatever it is for you. But enjoy the ride and once you, oh, I just can't tell you how much better it feels. And then honestly, I'm getting better results now that I've switched my attitude. What do you have to say about that? Something to think about. So now I need to shut up because 17 minutes. What the hell is wrong with me?